and they sprinting away. Pillar of the Earth was slow away, gave away two lengths, racing towards the back of the field with Persica. Pinda Imzala, first one to break. Diwali, very speedy. Then further back to King's Road and Vara Glow. Pink bodies against the rail. Gang leader, very awkward around the turn. Needs a lot of convincing. The black cap of Undisclosed was further back. Star flashes on the deep end. Then comes Ice Eater further back. Palace Assembly is in the green. After them to Persica and Pillar of the Earth. Homeward bound, 500 meters left to go. Diwali brought them in. Second place, King's Road at the outside. Pinda Imzala, the red cap. Gang leader made up some ground. Then comes Vara Glow up the far side. Few lengths away to Undisclosed. Palace Assembly, then came Ice Eater and Pillar of the Earth. They get to the final 300 meters now. Pindaram Zala towards the outside is King's Road. Vara Glow, the white blinkers. Then comes Diwali, gang leader. They further back in the field. Pindaram Zala, Vara Glow up the inside. King's Road is nearest us. Pindaram Zala just got the call and Pindaram Zala is going to win it. Second goes to King's Road. Then came Vara Glow and Star Flash. And it's been a very good week for Jeffrey Seister. The winner every day that he's uh, ridden this week. Winner on Monday in Durban. Winner on Tuesday at the Vol. Winner on Thursday at Turfentine. And uh, he'll nearly be down to claiming one and a half. Very, very close to 40 wins now for Jeffrey. So that's a wrap from Turfentine today. Thank you very much for being a part of it all on this Heritage Day. I hope it's been a successful and enjoyable day. Be back here on Saturday. Until then, have a wonderful evening, and we'll chat again soon. Stand by for the all clear of the last race. Good night. Number 11, Pinda Mazala has come through to give Clinton Binder a winner here at Turfentine. In fact, he's run first and second to round off racing at Turfentine, and it's apprentice Jeffrey Seister getting aboard again, and he's come through to score back-to-back -back victories aboard the Son of Philanthropist. Well done. Thank you very much, ma'am. Yeah, this horse has come on a lot. Uh, as I said before, he raced against strong maidens mm. and he's uh, proven himself today that he can beat uh, fair horses and I'm very proud of him today. And that weight has definitely helped and the draw. Yes, yes. Um, the claim also helped and, you know, um, that, that kind of weight, I, I don't think you can actually waste it. So I had to be up there mm. and it, everything just worked in my favour, being boxed and moved up very nicely. I think you've got to know him well in these last couple of starts because you seem to get on well with him. Yeah, yes, I do. Um, I, first, I rode his first two starts and then now again as he matured. So yeah, yeah everything worked out. And he's obviously got stronger for you. Yes, yeah, so, uh, all I can say is thank you to Mr. Bender for all his hard work and to the rest of the team. Well done to you. Congratulations. You it's been a lovely day at the office. Well, a lovely week at the office for you because you've had a winner almost every day so far. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, the confidence has, has grown a lot now. Mr. Moore said I have to push and a lot and uh, that's what I've been doing. So yeah, all I can say is thank you to him and thank you to the Academy. Thank you to Winning Form. Keep going. Well done. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well done to you. Clint, I think that might, might have to go up for you a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But first and second, lovely race and nice way to round off racing here this afternoon. Yeah, Julie, look, it's, uh, it's very nice when a plan comes together, I must be honest. Um, when I first nominated him, I saw the draw, I thought, hello, this is good. Mm. And I looked and I saw we under sufferance and I said, no, nah, I'm not running those under sufferance. And then I looked and I had the top weight in the race. <laughs> I scratched the top weight to make sure that he wasn't under sufferance. So, you know, it's not often plans come together and it's always exciting when a when a, a young three-year-old can actually come out and win mm. in the handicaps, you know what I mean? And it's, uh, Especially first time out the maidens. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, you know, like Paul Peter's horse today, you know, the, the young three-year-olds doing mm. that, it's hard against the older horses. But, um, look, nothing is possible without Hollywood. Owen Heffer has been a great supporter of mine, and um, like I said to him, well done. He says, what well done to me as well. I couldn't be doing it without, your, without yeah. you paying. So thank you very much to Owen and his team and Anthony and... Um, I'm thrilled that we actually ran first and second. It doesn't happen often, and it's, um, you would like it to happen more often, but it doesn't. But thank you very much to Hollywood for their support and their dyna dynamic team. And I think you're going to have more fun with him. I don't think he's done yet. Uh, I put, I put, a, I put a, um, a note on my whiteboard this morning, sophomore. So <laughs> that's my plan, sophomore sprint. <laughs> well, let's hope we see him there.
Yes, thank you. And thank you to Hollywood for their sponsorship and support. Thank you. Well done to you, Clint. Thank you, Judy. Congratulations. Thanks. Well done to Clinton Binder, first and second in our final race at Turpentine. It is number 11, Pinda Mazala, who's come through bred by the Richmond Highland Stud. Congratulations to them. Owned by Hollywood Syndicate nominee Anthony Delpesh. And it's Jeffrey Saster who's got him home in our final of the afternoon. Well, that's a wrap for racing here at Turpentine. Thanks to Alistair Cohen for calling our eight races home for us on this public holiday. It's been a lovely day's racing out. The weather has been fantastic, and hopefully it can stay like this throughout summer. Um, to the team back in the Obi van, well done to them, Erica and her team, to Mabel, Sepal, and the rest of the guys behind the camera, and from myself, Julie Alexander. Until next time, good night.